They thought I was gonna fall off. I hate to bring you bad news. Oh, so many rays, a bitch can't even see the flow. From Atlanta to LA, the only time I'm back and forth. She What's up, Ray Navy? It's your boy Ricky, King. We back at with a YouTube video. And as you can tell by today's title, we are doing a new and current updated stretch routine. I know the girl leaves me in my comments asking how do I get so flexible, what's my stretch routine, um, how to do a split, how can I do this, how can I do that. This tutorial right here is going to help you be able to do that if you stay consistent and you follow this routine every single day as you're supposed to because as a dancer you're supposed to stretch for at least 30 minutes a day but yeah we're gonna get straight into this video please be sure to like comment and subscribe we are 40 subscribers away from 10k make sure y'all give me there and let's make sure we get to 15k and run it up y'all make sure y'all turn that post notification bell so you are notified when i post a youtube video and let's get into this video so this video is kind of set up weird because as y'all know i'm 6'5 i'm super tall i live in an apartment i could touch my ceiling so this angle for right now is just gonna have to do so yes it is weird i moved all the furniture out the way so we can have space for my legs and my arms so we're gonna get straight into stretching <clears throat> you're gonna open up into a t and you're gonna go to the left you're gonna lean over go to the right go to the left go to the right go all the way over to the left and hold it Next, I like to take my arms into a T position and kind of just rotate my arms back and forth from, you know, front to back and to get my shoulders and everything worked up. Okay guys, now you're gonna have a flat back and you're just gonna lean over to the left and you're gonna hold that for like 30 seconds to a minute and remember to always do it on the right side. Whatever you do on the left side, remember to always do it on the right side. And whatever you do on the right side, remember to always do it on the left side. So you're gonna see me going from left to right in all of these stretches because you're gonna do them both on both sides. Next, you're going to touch your toes and pull yourself through. You're going to feel a nice, tight, deep stretch in the back of your hamstrings. Holding this stretch really helps with leg holds and middle splits, all of your splits, to be honest. And I just really love this stretch. So, yeah, just hold it for 30 seconds to a minute. And, yeah. Next, what I do is I touch my toes. Sometimes I go to the left first. Sometimes I go to the right. You can choose whatever side you want to go to. You're going to extend your legs as far out as possible as you can see. And you're going to feel a nice stretch from the middle of your calf all the way down to the 
bottom of your heel if you want to be technical this stretch right here really helps with your leg holes as well because you know you're stretching your legs from the bottom part Next, what I like to do is keep my feet together and I continue touching my toes. Doing this stretch, it helps me get a deeper stretch in both legs at the same time. So you're going to feel a nice deep stretch in your left and your right leg from the top of your calf all the way down to the bottom of your ankle. Chase you if I know you gon' come running back. Uh, Cut that body off, they leave it feeling like a lumberjack. Uh, they really get me fucked up, and now I'm going for none of that. None of she that. the type that nigga make a mess, she going too soon. Uh, me, I'm kinda ratchet still, so I don't type of beast. Huh? As you can see, I'm really big on flexibility, so I like to focus on my hamstrings where I'm really the most tightest. So during this stretch, you literally will feel such a tight pull in your hamstrings at the bottom of your glutes. And I just like holding this position because it makes it easier for me to slide into my splits. It makes it easier for me to do my leg holds and hold them for a longer time. Next, I'm going to go into a right lunge and, you know, I like to hold my lunge with my knee off the ground for, you know, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. And then I will place my knee on the ground for 30 seconds. And then I will also go even lower and press my elbows to the floor. So you're going to see me do that on the right side. And, you know, whatever you do on the left side, remember to always do it on the right side. So, yeah. For that nigga set for life, I let him give me pre. I done done it all. Feel like shot it low. Let's to the pain. But shit is not a joke. Say she got a pop, imaginary smoke Bitch, you set it up, then put it on the floor I done done it all, feel like shot it low Left me to the pain, but shit is not a joke Say she got a pop, imaginary smoke Bitch, you set it up, then put it on the floor I don't know what y'all been told Bitch, your meds know if you don't, what's happening in Okay, y'all, so now I'm just gonna go back onto my back leg and I'm gonna keep the other leg in front. And you're gonna feel a nice stretch from the top of your thigh all the way down to the bottom of your calf. This stretch really helps me with my leg holds. Baby, why you hiding it? Shit is not a joke. Say she got a pop. Imagine. 
Next, I'm gonna sit all the way down to the floor and I'm gonna lean forward and continue doing the same stretch. This helps get a deeper stretch. I'm not too sure the correct title of this stretch, but you're gonna see. So basically, I'm gonna stick out my left leg and I'm gonna hold this position for 30 seconds to a minute. It's kind of like you're about to go in your middle split. This helps unlock your hips and this also helps with getting flexibility to be able to go down in your middle split. And you're gonna see me do that on the opposite side as well. Also, I like to take my leg and turn my knee up towards the ceiling. This also helps with stretching, like kind of like a rotate and a turnout. So you're gonna turn your knee upwards towards the ceiling instead of facing your knee down towards what's in front of you. Next, guys, we're going to go into a shot open up into T position. And you're just going to rock side to side. And you're going to do the same stretch as we did in the beginning as you're standing up. This also helps pull the muscles in your thighs and in your hamstrings. And, you know, just increase flexibility in those areas. And then you're also going to put your nose towards your knee. It's kind of like preparing you for a leg hold. If you never did a leg hold, doing this stretch will definitely help you be more confident and more comfortable to stand up and try to, you know, do your leg hold. Next, what I like to do is just, you know, take my arms off of my leg and kind of lean in the inside of my straddle and pull myself forward. This helps with, um, you know, extending the stretch. It deepens the stretch and it helps with more flexibility in those areas. rotate myself from the middle all the way over to the opposite side and do the same thing that we did on the opposite side Next, what we're going to do is just go all the way down to the middle and try your absolute best to make your chest touch the ground. If your chest can touch the ground, that means, you know, you have some flexibility in the middle area. So what I like to do is just hold that position from like 30 seconds to two minutes. And this really helps me with easily sliding into my splits and with my leg hold. And it just overall increases my flexibility in my middle area. It helps me get down low as possible in my middle split. And I don't have my middle split yet. So I'm continuously doing these stretches and I'm seeing improvements daily. Say she got a pop, imaginary smoke, bitch you said it's up, 
then put it on the floor. I done done it all. Feel like shot it low. Next, what I like to do is just a few butterfly stretches and, you know, a little bit of butterfly flapping then i would just take my hand and press down the opposite side of my leg to kind of open up my hips and you know my middle area and i do it on both sides Next, I put my feet together and I just raise my arms up and I just go all the way down and try to touch my knees with my face. This helps with hamstring stretching and my back. Next, we're gonna start focusing on our back flexibility and we're gonna lay flat on our chest into a surfboard position and just stretch and look up and lean all the push yourself up towards the air and look all the way up and you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the lower back area. Next, what I like to do is I push all the way back and you're going to feel a nice stretch in the top part of your back, like where I want to say like at the bottom of your shoulders. This helps with flexibility in all parts of your back. Next, what I kind of do is kind of Z-sit. If you're a major you know what Z-sitting is. It's, it's kind of like where you sit down on the floor and your legs look like a Z, but instead of it being a complete Z, you're going to extend one leg out towards the back as if you're doing a split. And you're just going to hold it, and then you're also going to extend that by leaning forward. I Shit is not a joke. 
Say she got a pop, imaginary smoke. Bitch, set it up, then put it on the floor. Now, if you've ever watched a flexibility routine video, you know what this is. This is basically kind of like wall climbing. You just go backwards. So what you do is you take your hands, you go into a back bend position, and you just walk down the wall and walk back up a few times. You're going to feel a nice stretch in your back. This helps with back bends. It helps you get your scorpion and your needle. Set it up, then put it on the floor. Next, we're just going to hold a back bend and just get an even deeper, more stretch in the back. Next, you're going to lay flat on the floor and pull your left leg towards your face. Kind of like you're doing a leg hold. You're going to do this on the left and the right side. And you're just going to hold it for 20 to hmm, a minute. After that, guys, you're going to go into your left and your right and your middle split. After doing my flexibility routine, you should just easily be able to go into your splits. If you don't have your middle split, obviously, you're not going to be able to go all the way down to your middle split just yet. But if you have your left and right, after doing these stretches, this splits probably will feel really good, <laughs> if you ask me. I love sitting in my splits after I'm done with my routine. So, yeah, sometimes I even take it a bit forward and just lay all the way down while sitting in my split to get a deeper stretch. Oh, you took a little roll it off. Oh, you went big stones. Oh, you went two inch M. Oh, you went ring toss. Oh, you went train on that bitch. Oh, you went ding dong. Oh, you went king pin. Oh, you went wings in. Oh, you went hands on. Oh, you went seen in. Oh, you went demon. She's not the demon. Man. Oh, you had king. Man, now that was green. Man, hey, you went flying business first. Hey, you went drive around the world. Hey, you went brown like a squirrel. Hey, you went shitting down pearls. Hey, you went Rolls Royce car. Hey, you went Rolls Royce truck. Oh, you want to roll it all my hole. Oh, you want to line it all up. Hey, I'm going to play it how it is. Hey, I've been playing for some years. Hey, you trying to steal all the speed. Hey, I'm in the field, not a kid. Okay, you guys, so that brings me to the end of my YouTube video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the stretch routine. Remember to stay consistent and stretch every day. If you follow the same stretch steps that I follow, you are bound to get flexibility. Like, trust me, I've been doing the same stretch routine for like two years now, so I've definitely seen a lot of improvement in my stretching. So make, sh make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you turn on that post notification bell so you know when I post a video. And I'll see y'all in my next YouTube video.